What are we doing, Tito? Uh, we're gonna data log right now to send the file to the tuner so we can get our third revision. I'm on the second revision right now. And right now, he said there's the tuner said this is a bit of knock on top, so we're gonna try and see what we can do. All right, so now we're gonna press start. It says intake air temp failed. Okay. Okay. Do our first pass right now. First test pass. Manifold in and we'll slap it on and tune it. Yes, sir. What up, guys? Welcome to another video of BTP. Today's video, I'm gonna be removing the old headlights and replacing them with the Morimoto LED headlights. And I already got kind of ahead. I already removed all the bolts that are holding the bumper and I already have it hanging. So, all, all, all that's pretty much left right now is to remove the headlight bolts. I think there's three, one right here and right there. So the bolt, this I think is gonna be a third, it should be a 10. I think all three are, should be a 10. So I'm gonna take them off real quick. I don't have on the, I don't have the electric ratchet right now because I think Reese took it and he's at work. I'm gonna just loosen them up real quick and then Put the camera down and take them off real quick. So to remove these, this bolt and that one right there, you're gonna need a number 10 and then the side one is actually gonna be a 13. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Let me just mount the camera real quick. I think that's good. Here's a better view of the new headlight. See, it has the LED strip around it. Comparing it to the old ones, it looks way better. The kind of ways it kept the tri bar, but oh well. And before I put it back in, I'm actually gonna test it to see if they work. And actually, I do not have my key, so let me grab them real quick. So we ran into an issue. Uh, as you can see, the lights don't work. I'm just my butt. The battery's fucking dead. Luckily, Reese is home. So, I'm gonna fix that real quick and actually test them out. Also, something new that, that we did, it was like 12 o'clock at night. We got them and we were just bored and we just installed it here. It was it was dark and we couldn't we couldn't really see, but these do fit pretty good. Um they're LED and they're they're like sequential sequential turn signals. Yes, sir. They're sick as heck, and this is that fuel fest crunch time. Fuel fest oh, is in no. what? When's fuel December fest? 10th. December tenth, just in like three weeks. Uh, as you guys can see, you know, we did a little bit of ricer activities. Um, uh, we painted his uh, what is this? Your, your uh, cover. Yeah, he, he painted the coat covers. You know, he did the teal. Imagine that teal right here. You already know, but um, next thing is next is gonna be that intake manifold. And then for the F-150, you already know guys, I got that Anzo USA sponsorship coming in clutch with these headlights. Damn. But I do have to go get them. I, I don't really like how they contrast, you know, like black and the chrome. So I'm gonna send these out to get color matched. 
Um, you can take a look. Let's do the startup animation. Damn, look at this. <laughs> Freaking sick. I, um, I haven't seen any headlights do this. I think the more motor ones do something similar, but um, free compared to a thousand dollars. You know, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining, but I am going to drop a little bit of money to get the color mask to the truck. It's going to look super sick. Hopefully we can get it done uh, by the time uh, Fuel Fest comes around. And then I do have to install these. I'm slacking on that. I'm just scared because um, to install these to install these lights, you have to take off the mirror cap right here. You have to take off the actual mirror. And last time we tried taking the mirror off when we got a color mask, the actual mirror broke. And so right now I'm rocking this like ebay one and um it's not the best but you know what i was thinking about getting this getting a new set of mirrors done um because the harley david edition and like the laramie or the laramie the lariat and the limited i believe they have power folding ones and i want to buy the switch just so i can have that power folding uh option and then just get those painted it'll be easier that way but we'll see we'll see what we do or let's get let's continue doing this install and actually help tito out <laughs> Okay, you guys, so here's the headlights mocked up, but the fit is kind of weird. But we did see on YouTube to put some spacers or some washers right here to use the spacers uh, to push the headlight out because it's just, I don't know, like it's just weird. Like the fit is kind of bad as is. So the washer should be able to push the headlight out forward um, to get that perfect flush fit. So we're going to try our best to get them both as flush. We still need to do that side, but yeah, guys. Damn, I, I feel like vlogging is so hard. I keep saying but, and yeah, guys. Um, I don't know how the, I feel like it, it comes more, it comes easier as you do it more often, uh, which we didn't, we do need to do more often, but see, you see, I keep saying but. So I feel like there's gonna be those words that you say often, a lot, a lot, a lot. So we finished up. Looks good. Uh, we had to go get some washers to put right here in the headlight. The headlight bulbs just to move it out a little bit because it was not. Then it was, eh, but it looks good. Then it's looking all right. I think we discovered that on this side, this thing might have been on the wreck because this gap is a little bit more bigger and then the the bolt that was holding the headlight it was too back so that to do we work with whatever you know but finishing up it looks good yeah all right guys so this is a couple days after we installed the headlights um tito's sick right now so i was hoping he was able to record this uh outro but he's super sick he's got the flu so hopefully he feels better um but let's show you the headlights. So these are the Morimoto headlights. We tried aligning them as perfect as we can, but the Femi is kind of weird. I'm not sure if it's because of his bumper. Um, we did find some off gaps between the fenders on that side. And I just feel like this car has been an accident only because the bumper white is different from the rest of the car. Uh, it's all good though. We tried making it as good as we can. We put some spacers on like, the mounting bolts over here on the top and the bottom and there's a side one i don't think we put any on these but on this side we did have to put some on the side there's a closer look at the morimoto lights it looks super good and then look at the led fog lights i'm not sure from what brand uh that's all tito definitely gives the car a way meaner look um they look like they came out the factory so oem plus which is really good that's what i that i love this type of look where it just looks straight from the dealer and they just look really good tito's car is coming along really well um all that's next that's to be honest is we have the wicker build that we're gonna add on uh, i'm gonna go to i don't know where i gotta i just gotta buy the rivet the rivets and the drill bits here you go guys The difficulty rating I would say would be a five out of ten um, if you're doing it by yourself, only because uh, oh that's all hand tools, no power rent, no power tools, power wrenches, or any of that. 
uh, some of the bowls for the bumper are hard to reach by yourself um, especially if you don't have a, a lift and you just do it on jacks we didn't jack the carb that much but definitely uh, it would be a way easier job if you had another hand um, this is very doable at home guys so you don't need to pay someone to install them but if you do want like a better fitment you know professional like right on the dot fitment yeah maybe uh, try and find someone to install them for you all right you guys well that's gonna do it for today's vlog um make sure to like and subscribe if you guys liked it make sure to comment as well thank you guys all for watching and we're out peace